Huh, I was gonna do a Halloween but version, but um Yeah, I guess it decided to snow in October, so it's freezing inside the house, so I'm just gonna close that. Whew, let's get to the model kit review, I guess, because life said poo you. Okay, today we are reviewing the RX-9. I said RX, I meant to say R The door didn't close. I meant to say the RX-9C Narrative Gundam C-Pack. And this is a Gundam I don't know what series it's from, because I haven't watched it. But I'm guessing it comes after the event of Gundam Unicorn. Judging by in the background, there's a freaking Phoenix Gundam, which comes after... The Gundam Unicorn. And I have no clue the story behind this model kit, but dang is it tall. I wanted to point that out. So, um... Let me tell you the story behind this. I'm building this guy. It doesn't look that tall when I'm building him. And my RX-78 Gundam was probably the first tallest Gundam I had. And then I had my Phoenix Gundam, which ended up being the tallest. But this is just a quick example to show you that the Phoenix, uh, ah, the Phoenix Gundam is the tallest high grade I have. This isn't the Phoenix Gundam, and it's the second tallest. But here's to prove how tall the Phoenix Gundam this one is. That's them side by side. Freaking Sans and Papyrus. <laughs> Fine. So... My thoughts on this model kit are, one, it's freaking freezing in here. I, uh, wrong thing. Um, one, this guy comes with a lot of articulation. And two, he does not come with nearly enough accessories, in my own opinion. Oh, I'm going to get to the accessories. It does come with something new, though. Of course, we have our instructions, because I didn't lose them. There's the box. Then here's the thing. You get, like, a little booklet. I don't want to get in trouble for anything, so... It says something about C-Packs, so I'm guessing these is, like... This is the normal one. Because, as you can see, there's, like... There it is. You can't really see it, but there's different pictures in here. So, yeah. Now, of course, this is a Gundam. You can notice the two beam sabers on the back. So, of course, it comes with two beam saber things. Yeah, these are not pieces for accessories. These are a piece on the model kit somewhere. Sadly, I was not paying nearly enough attention, and it is unknown still where they go. It's somewhere on the feet. Now, when I was saying... Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Stickers. You get an optional sticker for the eyes. It's the red eyes. I chose not to do the red eyes. I like the green. But, um... Yeah. He does not come with, like... He only comes with this hand. That hand. And then his trigger finger hand. No open hands or anything, or not even a second trigger finger hand for the beam rifle. The beam rifle's cool as heck, though. I thought I... Did a piece fall off of the beam? No, okay. I have um the Phoenix Gundam, so every now and then when I look at this beam rifle, I look for the parts for um, the Unicorn Gundam, because I think the, the beam rifles look the same. Now, yeah, he comes with a beam rifle and the shield, of course. It's a Gundam. They're always going to come with one. I swear, I've not gotten a Gundam so far that does not come with it. Actually, that's a lie. I like the shield on this guy, though. It slides on and off, as you can see. I really need to clip my thumbnails. But here's the shield. No, okay, frick you. No. I would not at all suggest this guy for beginners. When I built him, it took him me several minutes. Like, the first Gundam that ever took me a day to build, or I mean model kit Gunpla thing ever took me a day to build was actually the Phoenix Gundam. And I didn't have snippers back then. I had snippers for this guy, but this guy was not fun to build either. Doesn't come with... I'm really happy they didn't do what they did with this Phoenix Gundam, because the Phoenix Gundam, the parts that are glowing like these ones, like this pinkish red thing... Yeah, you got a lot of stickers that replaced a bunch of those. This guy doesn't have any stickers that replace those. I don't think so, and I hope. Because <laughs> then that means I missed something, and yes, I took it off his hand. I didn't want to deal with it. I have a complaint about this model kit and its design, though. And I actually love the design. It's just the biceps not covered with any armor. That's a little strange for me. Like, it's exposed. I don't know what's up with that. I think it's just for articulation purposes. I don't know, but when they are designing this one, I wonder why they didn't do that, because Phoenix Gundam's completely covered. 
Now, oh, what was I going to say? This is also my first model kit with a clear piece that's not a monoline. It's in the chest. And I'm guessing... I haven't watched the series, but this is a guess, so no one frick... Ah, no one freak out at me for this. But, um... I'm guessing that see-through piece is like the little mobile armor or whatever you call them that is like a little fighter pilot plane thing that goes in his chest. So, I honestly have no clue. But, yeah. Um... <sighs> thoughts about this guy i don't really have any thoughts i love the white they used like uh, the white for the gundam the rx-78 gundam was um oh she hit her head on her desk okay was uh hmm what was i saying oh yeah so yeah the white for this guy is actually a really good white i like the white they chose for the rx-78 though i did not like the white they used it was a too dark of a white but this guy was really good with what they did so yee happy noises although i do feel like the v fin could have been at least a different color of yellow that does not look like whatever you have on the box looks like what you have on there and there oh god my phone's losing battery power because of the cold uh <laughs> Uh, I had to redo the stop motion three times. Stop motion. Video three times. I'm not redoing it a third. Uh, I wouldn't suggest him for beginners. He's a bit of a pain for me. Most of the parts I think I had to get on with my fingers. This was like when the model kits, like, when you're building a Gundam like this one, or the Phoenix, or the Unicorn, or the Banshee. No, I don't mean Halo. That's a mobile suit called the Banshee. There's a mobile suit called the Banshee, I mean... They have all these pieces on here like these. These tend to like just pop off sometimes, so I glued those on, but they're like a pain in the butt if you poo up on them. Only parts I messed up with this model kit are these. <laughs> but um I didn't put them on because I didn't know what part of the instructions were because I already had taken them out and I didn't know if it was like C4 or something like that. No, I don't mean explosives like C3, C a or yeah i didn't know which piece they were so i don't even know if they're c should probably move on to articulation with this guy and this guy's really good about articulation i think i can't remember this was one of the good ones head is stiff but you can do a full 360 if you really wanted to i don't want to though because i'm afraid that's going to break it it's not really going to break it's just it's a pain in the butt to fix the neck piece it can look up that far down that far can kind of move it side to side uh let's move the arm that doesn't have a hand on it can do a full 360 there arm can go up that far see if there's a shoulder i mean armor piece there it wouldn't have mattered oh wait you wouldn't be able to turn it okay i see why they didn't add armor can do a full 360 there and uh, okay that's a double joint the elbow bend that far elbow can't build them down um for some reason i don't know if this is supposed to happen but the wrist piece can kind of turn side to side. You can do a full 360 with it. It's just, I don't know if it's supposed to do that. I don't even need to show the hand ball joints. Just the ball joints. Just... Now, let's come into a little T-pose. Ab crunch that far. Ab crunch that far back. Uh, This guy does not have butt flaps. Skirt can go up here. Up like that. I to do that for... Oh, I thought it just broke. Skirts on this one are really weird. Instead of them being, like, attached right there, they have to do that number, and it looks really awkward. But leg can bend that far. Can bend f forward that far. Can go out that far, so you can do a full split. Bend at the knee right here. Joint here. Ooh, you have a bit of a side-to-side -side toe movement. Toe can go up that far, can go... Oh my god, I never knew that. That's probably where that one piece that I'm missing goes. It's not going to put it on. I'm lazy. Um, That's it for this guy. Oh, nine minutes. Thank the Lord. I'm almost done. Okay. So, I wouldn't recommend this model kit for beginners, mostly because if you're a beginner and... I don't remember how much this guy costs, probably 20 bucks. But if you're a beginner and you don't have snippers, this guy's going to be the literal description of I lost my fingers to a model kit. That'd be a cool book. 
I have work to do, so I'm gonna try and end the video here shortly. Final thoughts on the model kit. Okay, I have one more huge complaint about this model kit, and I'm gonna do a full 360 real quick before I say anything. Ooh, there's the back. Ooh, so much detail. Ooh. So, one thing that annoys me about this model kit is the legs. If you can kind of notice, the camera's slightly tilted, but the model kit is also slightly tilted. And it's the same thing with my RX-78, and this has been an ongoing thing for me. But I could have the legs up both straight, and it always seems like one leg's bigger, because look how it's kind of turned to the side. Oh, by the way, before I say anything, there was uh, apparently on the model kit's instructions, these pieces can kind of come out for the arms, but... I don't know if that's supposed to actually happen. But yeah, this is a nice model kit. I'm going to end the video here because my fingers are starting to freeze. I have to go back out in the snow, so... Thank you all for watching. I hope you like this model kit. And fun fact, if you turn off the lights and you shine a flashlight in some of these model kits, they glow.